Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Monarch Money. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. Now in this case, you might be wondering how do you start using Monarch Money here, especially if you're a beginner. So for us to get started with using Monarch Money is we first need to go to their official website, which is going to be monarchmoney.com. Now, in their official website here, they will give you some information about Monarch Money. Like for example, the modern way to manage your money here is in this case, if you want to have an overview and see real time what is happening right now on your money, well, Monarch Money here can actually help you. Now, in this case, they actually have a pricing page here, which in this case, you have the 8.33 a month a fee or a subscription here which is 99.9 .9 yearly so in this case you have unlimited financial accounts rollover budgeting investment tracking subscription tracking and a lot more now in this case how do we get started so in this case at the top right of your screen you have the sign up button go ahead and click on it and that should redirect you to the sign up page but in this case you just need to fill out all the entire information like for example in whatever way you want to uh, basically access or uh, sign up so it may be a manual way which in this case you need to indicate your email address and in this case just follow the on-screen steps until you're able to actually reach the uh, page here now currently, I'm just using the free trial version here for Monarch Money, which in this case is actually pretty cool, especially if you haven't have and you have you don't have an account yet, you'll be able to try their services for seven days and see if it actually works for you. Now, in this case, the first thing you'll see here is going to be your dashboard. So your dashboard here contains the general information about your account. So as well as the getting started page here, which in this case, adding account, customize categories, create goals and create budgets. Now the dashboard area here gives you a general overview of what is, what is happening right now on your account. So like for example, you're spending versus this month and last month. So for example, it's going to show you how you did in the last month. So for example, if you minimize your spending limit for this month, you will be able to notice it, notice it in this section here. Now in this case, it's going to be graphed by day one, two and onwards. And you also see the amount that you actually spent. So zero, $1, $2, $3 and $4. Now also you have the recent transactions, any budgets, recurrings, investments. So basically dashboard here contains little bits of information from the different sections that we'll be able to edit later on. Now in this case, what are the other options that we could edit here? So first is going to be accounts, which is something really vital to your uh, Monarch Money account. So your accounts here will contain all the uh, accounts that you have. So for example, your credit cards, your bank accounts, or just your debit cards here. Now in this case, for you to add an account, you just need to click on the add account at the top right of your screen. And from here, you will be able to do basically search for institutions or loans or uh, uh, mint or any assets such as vehicles or crypto in this section here. Now, in this case, for example, if you choose banks or credit cards here, just go ahead and select that. And from here, just choose the appropriate institution here. Now, the great thing about Monarch Money here is they actually have 13,000 institutions available within their app. Now, in this case, go ahead and choose that. It's going to give you information on how to uh, basically uh, connect your account. So in this case, uh, it's going to be adding multiple chase, credit results, same account, low cost percentage connections, learn how to merge accounts from duplicate credentials in the help center. So in this case, it's going to click on continue and it's going to redirect you to page here, which in this case uh, allows you to uh, basically connect your account depending on the uh, institution that you choose. So for example, you first need to continue your, uh, to connect your plate into your account here before you're, uh, you will be able to proceed on doing, on doing so. But in some cases, if you don't have an account to link in here and you just want to manually add your card, well, the thing here is you can just go to your accounts here, go to add account. And from here at the bottom right, you have the add manual account option, which in this case, you just need to click on it and you'll be able to basically add an account here. Like for example, if you have a cash here, you could go into that and CD. So maybe a checking, savings, money market, mobile payment system, prepaid or cash management. So in this case, let's just choose saving here. And let's just say I have around $500 on this account here. Also, my cash account here, you can just add a name for it. So let's just say this is going to be a savings account. From here, let's go and click on save. 
And once we've done that, as you can see, it's going to actually add that in to our account section once we've revisited it. In this case, if you want to visit that current account, you could go and just click on it. And as you can see, it's going to give you that specific type of uh, data for that account. So currently in my credit card, I have $1,000 here. And this is where I'll be able to add transactions or view transactions that I have right now and some details about my card. But again, if you've connected your bank here, it's going to automatically manage and add details to your account. But for example, if, uh, if there are any transactions on that card, it's going to be automatically listed here as well. Now, in this case, in the network here, it's going to show you how much you're worth right now. So in this case, uh, it's, I don't have much right now since it's a fairly new account. But yeah, so this is where you'll be able to see your current network. Now, if you want to view your transactions, this is where you will be able to go, so transactions. Now, in this case, uh, if you want to, like for example, if you've uh, spent on something, you just need to click on add transaction here, and you'll be able to uh, edit, uh, basically add details on it. For example, the amount that uh, you have in transactions, so let's just say this is going to be a $100 transaction, merchant is going to be a specific uh, merchant that you've added. So credit, if you choose credit here, you'll also be able to choose uh, a merchant for that credit. And the date for the transaction and the account, uh, select an account here. So you could go ahead and click on the account that you have. Oh, yeah. Also have the categories here. So for example, if this is for, let's just say this is for gifts. Also have add a note if you want to further. So yeah, also if you want to adjust the account balance by 100, so this will update the accounts balance by the transactions amount. Now in this case, you just need to click on add transactions and it's going to automatically be recorded in this section here. Now, if you want to view your cash flows in your account, this is where you will be able to uh, basically see it. Now, in this case, at the very top, you have a graph of your cash flow, so maybe income or expenses or your savings or saving rates, this is where you'll, you'll be able to see it. Now, in this case, it will also give you a uh, detailed number, uh, an indication of how much is your income, expenses, or total savings or saving rates for that specific month. Now, if you have any income, this is where they'll be able to, uh, you'll be able to see it, and expenses. This is where you you'll also be able to view it. Now, if you want to change this to a quarterly view, you just you just need to click on quarterly or yearly. You could go and just choose that. So yeah. So also we have the reports here, but currently this is still in beta as of uh, the creation of this video. But in this case, you should be able to see your current cash flow here, your total income, expenses, and total net worth and savings rate as well. So in this case, from name itself. These are going to be your reports. So you can even customize the day range here, maybe for the last seven days or any specific start date or end date here, which is something really cool. I also have the spending, income, and Sanki uh, section as well. So depending on what tab you choose here, you have the option to uh, basically change a few things on that specific graph. Now, budget here allows you to uh, basically get a uh, create a plan for your budgeting needs. Like for example, let's go and click on create a budget. And uh, from here, it's going to uh, give you a quick overview. So your plan has been created. Let's go click on OK here. So in this case, you'll be able to add, like for example, for your income. So what is your actual, what is the remaining, and what is the budget for that? You'll be able to add those details. So in this case, if you click on the three data icon here, you have the option to edit the group. So in this case, income is the group name. The category budget here is by category. So yeah. In this case, you also have the expenses here. So in this case, you have, again, you have the budget, actual, and remaining remaining uh, section as well. As you can see, it's in, we have charity, gifts here, and whatnot. So if you want to change a specific section here, so for example, for expenses, I want to say my current budget right now is going to be 100 for charity. So in this case, we have our actual here. So the remaining is going to be 100 since we have an actual, we have a budget 100 here. And let's just say, um, we want to uh, update this as well. So gifts is going to be around $50. So yeah, also in the income section, you should be able to add your income. So for example, I'm gonna say I have a thousand dollars for my income or paycheck here. And that would uh, actually update my current income here. So as you can see at the right side, you have your income and expenses. So we have our expenses here for gifts and donation, auto transport. So yeah, so this page actually allows you to budget your money. So depending on your income, you should be able to adjust a few things like for expenses, maybe for transport, maybe for uh, housing, and uh, yeah, and whatnot. 
So we also have the occurring here, which in this case, you'll be able to add, like uh, identify or track your current transactions. So in this case, let's go and click on add manually here. So let's just say uh, maybe we want to search for a merchant here. So we just need to enter uh, their uh, merchant name here. But yeah, if you want to automatically add your merchants, you can go and click on get started here and they will automatically search for merchants for your account. You also have goals here, which in this case gives you the uh, uh, capabilities of setting goals for your account. So in this case, you go and just click on get started here and you'll be able to uh, basically set up your goals. So maybe for emergency funds, for a car or for a vacation, you should be able to uh, basically set your goals on it. Like for example, let's just add a vacation for one, click on next and from here, how do you want to prioritize this goal? So in this case, there's only our goal right now. And in this case, how much you want to save. So let's just say around uh, $10,000, maybe it's enough. And from here, you could go ahead and start adding accounts. So which accounts do you want to use to track your goals? So in this case, you could go ahead and choose your saving account here. And from here, let's go ahead and click on done. And from here, let's go ahead and click on next. And from here, how much do you currently allocate for each of your goal? So let's just say we want to allocate around $200 a month here. Just click on next. And from here, it's going to build your budget, calculate timelines, wrapping up, and you should have your current uh, goal here. So in this case, it's going to track you how much you're uh, currently saving right now for this specific goal, like contributions, transactions that I have right now, and the current savings account that we just linked in here. We also have investments here and advice section. So if you want to uh, use those features as well uh, this is where you you'll be able to access them now also if you want to go to your account like edit your account go to settings uh, or ch even change your dark mode which is something really cool for users that like the dark dark mode here and if you want to go go to settings go go and click on settings here and you will be able to update your uh, profile display any notifications and security if you want to add a uh, security into your account and also if you want to create a password or you could currently using the login with your google you'll be able to do that as well and yeah so those are the basic things that you need to know for monarch money and that's about it so if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video